Hello and welcome to another Exotic Critique, I'm your host DK and today we'll be going over the Exotic Hunter Gauntlets, Don't Touch Me. These gauntlets were recently sold by Zer but can also be obtained as a random drop from most activities in the game. This review won't follow the usual format, but stay tuned till the end for an offer of my services for my viewers. Words cannot truly describe the vast utility of these gauntlets, so instead of breaking down each ability the gauntlets provide, I will briefly explain them, then cut to an unedited footage of myself with a friend who's a level 28 titan traversing the abyss on our lonesome with the tremendous help of these gauntlets. Now for the actual review. The first perk unlocked is Special Weapon Reloader. This perk is straightforward and allows you to reload shotguns, snipers, and fusion rifles more quickly. The second ability unlocked is Inverse Shadow which basically translates to all PvE kills grant more super energy than usual with this perk. Paired with other super energy gaining abilities or weapons such as Bad Juju, super energy can be maxed quite quickly. The final unique perk is Defensive Reflex which grants you invisibility for a few seconds when an enemy lands a melee attack on you. This ability has a great number of uses, but the best way to illustrate this is to show you footage of how simple it is to solo the Abyss in Crota's End. It is true that it is possible to solo the Abyss without these gauntlets, but with Don't Touch Me, the difficulty level is drastically lowered, allowing even the most casual of efforts to breeze through. With these gauntlets, an entire fire team's chances of traversing the Abyss increase by tenfold. Without further ado, here is the footage with the message to my viewers. Thank you again for watching my video, but before I'd go, I'd like to offer my services to any player either having trouble obtaining parties for raiding or are too low leveled and would like a chance at some raid gear early on in their campaign. The only requirement is to be leveled enough to enter Crota's End. Just send me a message through PSN and I'll do my best to help as many of you traverse the abyss so as long as this method is not patched in any way. Thank you again for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.